Hello and welcome to Psych. I'm Muhammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create the first flow in Power Automate. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is my Power Automate home screen, and here there are many things to discover because as you're starting it from the base. You will start one by one, you will slowly go from basic to advanced level, like how we have covered everything, almost everything in Power BI. In a previous video, we discussed about what is Power Automate and what we can do with that and what the pricing it cost. So here we'll start from the base. This is my home screen. Here we have multiple options here. This is home and then the action item, approval and business process flows. You can define it here and my flows which I created here. If you want to create a new one, you can create here. And the templates is also there. There are many templates available here. And how many of them are used here? They're showing it here. And there are different different topics as well. So connectors is there and the data is there. Also, if you want to connect to your on-prem data gateway, you can use whatever we have done in Power BI also here as well. So I'm not going to cover all those for this now. So let's start creating a simple thing. So there are almost uh, 180 plus connectors out there in Power Automate. So we'll start with this one. So create flow on the left side, you can click here. You have these many options here. Automated flow triggered by a designed event or instant flow triggered manually when needed. And so cloud flows, they are given a name here. It all instant. Automated and scheduled flows is created using connectors. Desktop flow where previously UI flows make them use Power Automate desktop. Okay, then change few names here. So that's what they are saying it here. The instant cloud flow and initially previously it was UI flows. Now they are named to desktop flow. So scheduled cloud flow you can choose when and how it often runs. And business process flow guides through a multi-step process. Let's have a look at the connectors here. So right click here, open a new tab. These are the list of supported connectors in Power Automate. There are, as I said, oh, there are 180 plus out there, but there are many things out there which is premium version, like they have mentioned it here, premium, premium, premium. So almost these are office things are free here, but only thing is the SQL Server is premium as well. The Power BI is free, but SQL Server is premium. So now. Let's create manually one flow. I'm taking the Outlook from a personal account. So search here, Outlook or Hotmail. Hotmail is not showing up here. So Outlook.com. A trigger is an event that starts a flow. When a new email arrives, when email is flagged, when a new email mentioning me arrives, when a new event is created. So these are things we have options. So I'm selecting this option when a new email arrives in my Hotmail account. We have folders here. So these are the things which is available over there. So if you click on show advanced options. We have to want to specific something user from there. Only we have to do this flow. C C C and from attachment include attachment or not. And subject line something else. If it is marked as important or not, if it has only attachment or not, something like that. If it is there, then I want to add a new step. That is, I want to send an email from here. So send an email notification to my Gmail account. So the subject should be the subject from the Outlook and the body should be what is in the Outlook itself. That's it. Now I'll click on save here. Subject is required is same. So I forgot to mention that. So actually it should be here, right? Subject. Not here. Subject. Yeah. Now save. Untitled here when a new email arrives, V2 send an email notification. So the flow is ready to go. We recommend we test it. So click on test. 
So manually means send a new email to your inbox to trigger it. So now we'll send it manually here and click on test. To see it work now, send an email to your inbox. So I'm sending an email from, it is running right now. So I'm sending an email from my Gmail account to my Hotmail account. So my Hotmail account is there. Hello Hotmail test and send. Click on inbox here. Nothing else so far. Now check in the Hotmail account. If the new email arrives or not. Yeah, here's the one. Flow Hotmail test is there. This is a test here. And if you look at the power flow here, your flow ran successfully. Right? It has both of them is tick option here. Now have a look at the Gmail. So if you look at Gmail, yes, it is here, the flow from Hotmail. It is coming from Microsoft at powerapps.com. All these values from there to here. The flow Hotmail test subject is the same and the body is also the same. Only the sender is different from there. So this is how you can able to create a flow if you want to send an email from one account to another account. You can do it right now because all the other email providers have done this already to forward the email account from one account to another account is there. But through Power Automate also you can do this. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. If you are not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.